continuing on with this um, Heco 1950s, 1960 grandfather novelty clock. And, uh, I got the movement back together. I was able to get the little minute arbor off by heating up the uh, movement to uh, take it off. You shouldn't have to do that, but that's what I was able to do. Uh, got the movement all nice and clean. I take it off. Uh, Henry Kohler uh, came to the United States from Germany, from my understanding, in the 1950s, 1960s, set up shop and put his stamp on clocks um, to sell out of New York. And they're very collectible clocks. And they, uh, they're some really nice clocks. Check out the uh, website that I showed you in the first video. This is an example of how much they typically sell for or asking price. $50. I can get this to play. So I still need a pendulum bob. I need uh, hands for it. Also need a screw uh, to hold the movement in. And the case comes these little brass fittings that you put in. Uh, to put the screws in to hold the movement in uh, because this clock was given to me I didn't have one of the brass fittings or one of the screws so I need to come up with one of those but I do have a nice dial for it and uh, I had the clock pretty well taken away I do have to do some adjustments on it but uh I hope y'all like this video, and God bless.